Well, at this point, we know at least one student has been taken out of school and school officials say it likely won't stop there. As far as the parents who are dealing with this, many tell us they're not surprised. In his 35 years in education, even two days later, it just has me staggered. The superintendent of Dixon School District is calling a social media post sent from this school. The most disgusting, disturbing, um, really troubling, uh, hateful um, thing I've ever seen. Superintendent Brian Dolan says Wednesday, just after school, a parent came to the John Knight Middle School office and showed an administrator a social media post. People were asked to post for a picture without it being explained what the purpose of it was. The result was a collage of the school's first black principal, Camilla O'Connor, and 15 to 23 black and mixed race students. With the um, kind of head uh, banner up top, um, you know, happy black history month, you monkeys. Having to have a conversation like this with your 12 year old, it's heartbreaking. Mia McNeil's son was in that post. She works for the school district. But in this situation, she was simply one of more than a dozen parents who got the horrifying call from the district, letting her know what happened. She and her husband had to tell their son. Could this be somebody around me? Is this somebody right up under me? Who do I trust? How do I know that this isn't going to happen again? Dolan says he believes a small group of students are responsible for the post, which was made during school hours and posted to the social media account of a seventh grade boy. That boy has been suspended as district officials investigate. One of the things uh, that has us so deeply concerned is that this took an awful lot of planning. McNeil and other parents who came to hear the superintendent speak Friday say this is just one of many racial harassment issues students in the district have faced, and they fear the community at large is not taking it seriously. A lot of the students in the area feel as though this was just a joke, a silly mistake. It wasn't really meant. It was meant to be funny. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny as a parent receiving that call. It wasn't funny to watch my child crying and hurt. Now, I will say that McNeil says she does believe the school district itself is taking the matter seriously. Now, the district says they're going to continue to investigate. Again, they believe a small group of students is responsible. The seventh grader whose account this was posted on has been taken out of school. They say the consequences could include expulsion. They've also said they've looped in the Dixon Police Department to see whether or not anything criminal could be involved in this case. The school district also said that they're taking measures to promote more um, racial sensitivity, better student protections, more awareness, more accountability. The superintendent also did not let himself off the hook.